Good morning everybody. This is Susan from Scrap Paper Queen and today I'm going to show you the fourth and probably final envelope mini that I did following Kathy Orders tutorial. This is my absolute favorite out of the four books that I've done and even though I have two more cut out ready to go I think this one will be the favorite of all of them. I use the paper line, um, uh, I forget what it was called. Sorry about that, hang on one second. Well, anyway, I can't seem to find it, but it was that um, fairly new one by Die Cuts with a View. And um, I just love the way it turned out. I used black ribbon right here to um, hide the end of the duct tape with some nice um, cream color trim. And I grunged it up a little bit with a black memento ink. And then I used some trim from Joann's on the spine. And I also grunged it up with some of the black memento ink. And on the front, I because the theme of a lot of the papers was gears and whatnot, I used the Tim Holtz alteration die and I cut out some gears with the gear die and I also put the gear charms on top of the gears. I left a spot at the top for a title. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but... Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. So here we go into the inside of the book. And I hope the glare isn't too bad. These papers are kind of shiny. But I made a couple of tags on the front inside cover. And um, I cut out a couple of the tags from the paper line. And I added a gear on the top of this tag. And then... Um, the rest of it is just the, the basic design of the album, but I just, I absolutely love these papers and the way this one turned out. I also cut out some more of the, um, the she had alphabets on um, a couple of the papers, so I cut out those and made the word love and I put a little ticket tag down there and I also used the Tim Holtz gears on the edge die to make the little um, paper closure at the bottom and I added some more of his gears Tim Holtz gears And I was able to put in a few more of the tickets down here on the bottom of this gear on the edge die. I really have this album down now. I'm able to whip one out in a day, which is pretty good because there's a lot of matting that goes along with this album. But if you get yourself in a system, and after you've done as many as I've done, it really goes quick. And some more little ticket tags down here, and I made another little tag with just an A for whatever. Added a gear up here. A couple more tickets. I just love this paper line. It's tattered something or other, I think. I, I just can't remember offhand. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. And the pull out here. This is more of a manly line, so I think I'm going to put some pictures of my husband in here. Some more ticket tags down here and another tag pull out with a gear 
and of course the top tags. And I put um, a couple more alpha uh, numerical rather little tags here. I couldn't quite figure it out, but I think that's three four times, so that's why I put three four. And these are the tags that I cut out on the other pages. I left this one whole. I'll probably make more of these albums because, like I said, I have two more cut out ready to go. But I need to move on now to my Halloween minis and after four videos of the same album, you guys are probably getting kind of bored of seeing the same old thing. So my next video, I'll do a Halloween mini. But I just had to show you these because I love the way they turned out and I especially like this one. And then again on the back side, I made a little pocket and added a couple of gears and one of the little stick pins of Tim Holtz and um, another little ticket tag and then um, I used a uh, little Tim Holtz brad and another pull out tag and another little gear up there. And then the back side is plain with just the um, grunged up lace and some ribbon. I didn't put a closure on it yet because I don't know that I need one. So we'll see after I get the pictures in there how it turns out. And I can always add it later, but for now I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out without a closure. And um, so there you have it. My fourth and probably final video on the Kathy Orta Envelope Mini. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.